Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Kiko Kingdom. This is Jacob. Uh, today's topic is DeepSeek V3 API, how to test it for free. That being said, let's get started. So if you go to the uh, DeepSeek official website, you can see from their uh, API documentation, uh, DeepSeek V3 is outperforming major open source models in almost all benchmarks, like q 2.5, Lama 3.1, 405B, Cloud 3.5, Sonnet, and also GPT-4. So you can see everything is highlighted, meaning that has the highest score. DeepSeq V3 has almost all the highest scores, so which is awesome. And if you look at their pricing right now, they're on promotional period, which will end next year, uh, February 8th. So in this period, you'll have even cheaper price. So for an input cash hit, you'll get a one cent per million tokens. For a cash miss, we'll get a 14 cents per million tokens. And for output, you'll get 28 cents per million tokens, which is awesome. And the reason why DeepSeq V3 is revolutionary and please refer to my previous video. So basically in my previous video, I showed that uh, why DeepSeq is awesome. And for the training hours, uh, DeepSeq V3 actually uh, trade on a uh, 2.78 million GPU hours with an estimated cost of uh, 5.5 million. And the token is 14.8 trillion high quality and diverse tokens. For, uh, as comparison for Meta's Llama 3.1, 405B, actually has less uh, parameters. They basically train on 11 times of that. And also they have like 30 uh, million GPU hours and on uh, 15 trillion tokens, right? And then for the DeepSeq uh, benchmarks, it's basically uh, better than Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, indicating that it is very possible to train a frontier class model less than $6 million. For the training hours, you can see that for Llama 3, 4, and 5B, they train on uh, 100k GPUs, but for DeepSeq V3, it's actually only 2000 GPUs. And uh, one of the co-founders of OpenAI, uh, Andrew Kampathy, uh, said the level of capacity is supposed to require clusters of closer to 16k GPUs, but they train on 2000. So how cool is that? The pricing, the basically uh, DeepSeq V3 is cheaper than Sonnet, and also um, the pricing we mentioned earlier is very, very cheap. And uh, you can see that Cloud 3.5 Sonnet is actually at $3 per million for input and for $15 per uh, million uh, tokens for output, which is super expensive. And so let's go back to DeepSeq API. So to test everything, uh, there's two ways. The official way and that uh, way that I'm going to introduce you today. So for the official way, just go to the platform.deepseek.com, go to the uh, API keys, create API key, and top up the balance, start with two dollars. They support debit card, card card, and PayPal. Just um, hit um, whatever you want to pay and then click next. Fill the balance and go to this page, api.docs.deepseek.com. And basically, after everything is set up, just use the base URL as api.dpc.com and API key and the, use the API key you just created. And also use the model as dpc.chat. So that's it. So you can test everything um, using this configuration. So, uh, but what's better than low cost, right? So I mentioned the uh, dpc v3 API is very low cost. Um, that is, um, uh, we want to uh, no cost, right? So we, want to test everything for free. And then, um, so how to do that? Uh, basically, we're going to use Hyperbolic AI. So uh, to uh, go to the Hyperbolic AI uh, official website, and basically you can see the models, they don't have the DeepSeq-V3 because it's uh, hidden right now. Um, um, and to do uh, the V3, uh, just go to this x.com and then go to this um, Jasper. I think he's one of the co-founders of Hyperbolic. So uh, they mentioned that if you want to use a V3, just specify DeepSeq V3 instead of uh, DeepSeq-V.25. So that's it. And it is a Christmas gift. So um, to do that, uh, basically we just also uh, need the settings. Go to the, get the API key from the settings. And after that, uh, just go to IDX. Uh, make sure uh, you have the client installed. So if you have not installed, just go to IDX, create account. And I'll go to the extensions um, and then install client. Search for client and then basically install client. And make sure it's 3.0.9. Uh, and after you install client, go to this client uh, icon and click uh, settings. So uh, use LP API compatible. The base URL is api.hyperbolic.xyz slash v1. And also the API key is the API key from Hyperbolic. So, and that's it. So um, make sure the model is deepseek-as slash deepseek-v3. And that's it. Click down 
uh, you're ready to go. So before we go to the testing, we go through uh, this root folder, make sure you have client root setup. We want to create all the files in serve.dot.bug folder and make sure all, we all log all the changes to a file called change.md. So, and that's it. So let's continue with the testing. Let's go to the client and uh, we want to basically create an AI company, a landing page, company uh, landing page, right? A company landing page using HTML, CS, and JS, HTML, CS, and JS in a single file. So then we hit enter and you can see that it's running with the deep v 3 Here's the test start writing. So I'll um, just hit save. Okay, it seems that there's issue with creating changes.md file, but that's okay because uh, there's issue with a web-based Visual Studio as mentioned in the uh, offshore um, client's uh, GitHub page, so, but that's okay. So since you try to make some updates also. Okay, it's done, and then hit save. So this is ready to go. So I think uh, they're still trying to make some changes also. So it's a task completed. Okay, just try to summarize it. And they're trying to uh, basically ask you to open uh, the landing page, but it's not gonna work uh, for the IDX. Um, but we'll still click command. You can see it is not gonna work, right? So, uh, but to do that, uh, to make it work, we have to, Basically, go to this. Um, basically, not go to, but uh, run this command, which is to spin up the Python server. So, because we created the files in the server that that folder, which is from Python H3 server, and go to uh, use this directory and hit enter. You can see uh, the port is uh, 8000, it's running on this port, and go to the IDX console. You can see the port is running, and then hit this icon so you're able to uh, take a look. So, a landing page, this is a landing page, so which is not bad. Uh, this is how you actually test uh, DeepSeq V3 API with a uh, client on Google IDX. So uh, let's go back to um, this uh, IDX and then we also want to show you guys how to do it in Ader. So if you uh, want to test in Ader, uh, basically to test it, uh, just go to uh, uh, IDX console and make sure you export the open AI base uh, with the API that parabolic XYZ slash V1 and make sure the API key it's the one you have on the hyperbolic console and make sure um, you export all this as an environment variables then you can actually test using Ader. so and that's it so um, basically you just do Ader dash model and use this uh, open ai slash deepseek ai deepseek dash v3 hit enter and we don't want to track any changes and we don't want to end documentation and you can see that it is on this model Right, Ader is the latest version. The model is DeepSeq AI and uh, DeepSeq V3 model. So we want to basically let's create a Minesweeper game. Minesweeper game, Minesweeper game, and we want to basically test it. And we want to probably just double check. It is in the right folder. Okay, it is in right folder. Okay. 
say no and then we don't want any documentation let's create a minesweeper game and using html css and json and j and javascript in a single file right, and that's it so we'll hit enter you can see that it's working with uh deep v3 api right so it start creating which is awesome let's wait a bit You can see the adder is added, all the history and all these files are added for adder. The other two ones are from the uh, client. So create a new file, yes. And you can see it is created. So to test it, it's still uh, running the same thing as we did for climb. And then we basically um, have this 8000 port ready. Just uh, also hit the uh, IDX console, just also go to the same link and then open and just click the Minesweeper again. So you can see this is working very nicely. All right, let's just, uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, this is actually how you um, test uh, DeepSeek v uh, 3 API for free with ADX and Client and Adder. So, hope this is helpful. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, see you in the next one.